okay we're switching gears here a little bit today um i really need to start working on the planter but there's actually we're supposed to get like a quarter inch rain today um chances get greater here later in the afternoon but i'm kind of at the damned if you do damned if you don't point of everything because i pretty much have everything i can get done inside done i got i got a couple old changes to do and my filters actually all my filters actually showed up yesterday but i didn't have a chance to go get them so i had to change the oil in the 4150 the 1800 the 66 the 1955 the 77 really needs to get done because it didn't get done last year because that yeah you're supposed to change the oil every other year but that thing hardly gets any hours on it and it sits inside and I check it to make sure there's no water in it. It's, it's a, every two years on the 77 is plenty. Um, anyhow, so I got oil changes to do, but basically that's all because the grain drill is pretty much ready to go. I mean, the planter and this are my last two big projects, and then I got to go around and check some other fields and see. Well, when the muck dries up, we got that big limb down there. I got to go clean up, but you can't get to it right now because the ground's so damn wet. So basically, long story short, everything I got left to do is outside and the weather's not cooperating. But if I got to do something outside, I'd much rather be doing this where you're at least up and walking around and carrying shit and staying warm. And, you know, instead of sitting underneath a planter in one spot with getting your tools wet and whatnot. So, but tomorrow's supposed to be decent. So we're probably going to get the planter down to the house, get it unfolded, give it a good going over, get a general list of what we need to get i've already i have had it hooked up i have had it unfolded um everything works i had to jumper all of the uh limit switches because they're all junk but fun story on that we'll talk about that tomorrow when we're actually working on the planner but needless to say everything on the planner the only thing i haven't had hooked up is a pto pump but it, it that should be fine but everything unfolds the markers work um got some hydraulic cylinders over that need rebuilt some hydraulic lines that need replaced and obviously narrowed it up from 36 to 30 but anyway um so hopefully tomorrow the weather will cooperate we can get that down here and start going over it but for today and probably for a few days this week till we get finished up with the excavator um gonna be down here working uh it's supposed to rain all week but like i say if i gotta work in the rain i'd much rather be doing something like this so Anyhow, uh, today we're going to be sacrificing the steer old steer tires off the 1955 to the fire gods. I got, them buckets aren't full, but those two buckets got waste oil in them, and then that little jug's got diesel fuel in it that I I have no clue where it came from. I don't know. I can't remember having to drain diesel fuel out of anything, but, um, so I'm going to get these guys set up. I already got the, I drove the mini down here yesterday, and she's warming up now. And hopefully these piles of light and i'm gonna burn this one and this one today that way i'm close to where i'm working and i'm gonna keep feeding that guy with what we cut and then tomorrow morning i'll come down and stir them and then we'll uh work on burning these other guys at a later date but if we can get two knocked out that's gonna put a big hole in it because i got one two three four five six seven so far nine piles so anyway, I'm going to get these guys set up and we'll uh, get them lit and keep on cutting. I'd like to at least make it to the fence today where the chick old chicken coop is. If I could get to there, that's a pretty big dent. There's really not a whole lot left here. Thank God. All right, I got all the goodies on there, so I guess we'll see if it goes, eh? I think that diesel fuel would take off. Come on, diesel fuel, don't let me down. All right, we are officially burning. Um, they're actually flamed up better than they look. I just took the piles and pulled them down over the flame to 
help him keep going, but sorry, I had to turn the camera off. My landlord walked over, but uh, ended up just taking the tires, getting them kind of half-assed stood up, and then filling the bottom of them full of diesel fuel and lighting that on fire, and then they took right off. I guess that's what I should have done in the first place. But uh, I already went through, and I got these three trees bucked up, so I'm going to let that far guy burn. We're going to keep feeding this one, so... We'll set you here on those squeaker and I know there's there's really nothing I can do about it. Trust me, it's just as annoying running it. But it's all down here where the where the roll bar hooks to the or hooks to the car body.
we're kicking the shit out of it today. Started, and you can see where the dirt gets fresh where I started moving stuff over there. Made it all the way to the fence. All that stuff's all lobbed up as far as I know. Um, Cause I started working out here and then the landlord's son, Polly came out, ran saw for me for a while. So he pretty much got everything bucked up and I was running mini. Tell you what, this stuff is burning a lot faster than I thought it would. I mean, and that's that's the bad part about this box elder. It's why you, know, you can't use this shit for fire. I mean, you can use box elder for firewood, but you better cut it, let it season for. You got about a one month window on box elder. You cut it, you let it season, you burn it. You let it sit any longer than that, and the stuff to, is just go for wood. Because I put from here all the way down to that fence on this pile and it's only that big i mean i am thoroughly impressed but um i think i was i was gonna stop just because i'm tracking so far i was gonna stop throwing stuff on but i mean all right it's burning down i might as well there's really not that much left i think there's only three trees over there and some little piddly shit but i can get the vast majority of it i'll make me a driveway through here with the blade so that i got a smoother track track the rest of the stuff over here and then a little piddly stuff i'll throw on that pile if it wasn't so late in the day i would just light that pile up and throw all that shit on that pile but it's late enough in the day i don't want to light a fresh pile so anyway back at her well we're finishing up down here just in time it's starting to spit rain but i was not expecting it to get to get that much done today i don't think i would have got done if old paulie wouldn't have come down and helped me cut that made that that made this go a lot faster tell you what you, even you get a system down working by yourself and it goes pretty quick even though you know you're doing a two-man, a three-man job by yourself, and then you have somebody else show up and start helping, and it's like, holy shit. But that looks a lot different. Not nearly as much of an eyesore. But before I put the mini up, uh, last thing I want to do, because I'm going to keep it in the barn for a few days so I can get something to stir these piles, and I think this week i'm gonna come down here and start burning these piles off one by one get them out of the way um the last thing i want to do is everything on that little pile that has not burnt i'm gonna throw that on this pile so that it'll all burn up so we're gonna do that real quick if you want to ride along there you go we'll you
definitely got done just in time. I think I made a good decision coming down here and finishing this up today instead of working on the planter as much as I need to work on the planter. Because this set me up pretty good for having something to do the rest of the week while the weather's shit. Tell you what though, this thing is burning hot. Like, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like woofing. That sucker's sucking some oxygen, I tell you what. It's so hot, there's like, there's blue flame in there. She's hot, hot. And that little guy flamed back up, so. There shouldn't be a whole lot left but ash of this pile because there's no stumps in this one. This is all logs. That one's got stumps and stuff in it. So that's why it didn't burn down very good. But that's that pile. That's also the pile that I, I screwed up. But on the other hand, I think it also helped burn down the pile, the pile that was there because that's the first pile I burnt earlier this winter when we started out here. And I piled another pile on top of it, hoping that the pile on top of it would burn down the rest of the shit that was on the bottom. And it did it was just hard to get it to light but all in all not too bad and i can't believe how quick this pile burnt because it really hasn't gotten any bigger than when i started and i put everything in it so but next next say phase is to get all these piles burnt that way I can get the dozer over here because I don't want to bring the dozer over before that because anything that's left of these piles, I want to have the dozer to either A, get, spread the ashes, or B, if there's too much left, push it into the ravine. And then all these stumps got to get pushed in the ravine. And I got to grade out and run the ripper over where all these trees were. So, and I got to get the... Uh, Probably bring the landscape right down here and clean up some of these sticks and crap from the trees falling out here into the field and but the worst part of the project's done so I guess it's starting to rain harder so I'm gonna ski daddle so anyway I guess that's it for this one we'll catch you guys tomorrow hopefully working on the planter